flavor is cleaner on this one, which, which is salivated. You know. And now Chuck, I would say that beefy flavor is stronger than sirloin, but it's probably less intense than brisket. I think all these... And today we are going to Mr. International. We are going to be doing a highly ambitious episode of Eat Book versus Shake Shake. So as such, we will need to bring in an in-house Zaikia. Welcome, Vendor. Hey, Alexa, Alexa, why you like that? Uh? <laughs> you all ask me to come in here, right? but I I don't know what I'm doing. What's this? <laughs> this is a. Uh, Freaking burger press, guys! Oh, yeah. You all want me to make Maverick Smash Burger, is it? Yes. Throw back to uh, like Maverick. Cancer Maverick? Become what? Smash Burger? Shake Shack! Shake Shack? You mad lah! <laughs> Cannot lah! Okay, actually, speaking of Shake Shack, two years ago, I was in the vlog where Ebook went to try everything on the Shake Shack menu, and oh my god. I remember, I remember. Throw back! Yeah, then like, uh, whoa, we have come full circle. You have come full circle. I only eat Shake Shack like once or twice in my life only. So, producer, you can give me one chicken burger to try first. Oh God, I already have ah! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> okay, so on today's episode of Ebook Versus, we will be recreating Shake Shack's signature burger, Shack Burger, the this one you're holding. Shack Burger. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure everybody in Singapore knows Shake Shack lah. I mean, there was one time everybody went to queue for it, right? So ever since October 2018, Shake Shack has opened many outlets, and the newest one is actually at Westgate. Yeah. That's the reason why the West is so late, of course. Just have a touch, yeah? Okay. Oh, the sauce. The bread. The cheese. <laughs> I love the cheese. Okay, so Mendon, are you ready? Okay, we got the little Let's get started! Hey. By the power of Greyskull. So, we're gonna make our own potato buns. Um, I think I think it's one of the hardest things to get, right? Because, you know Shake Shake's buns, they are like thin. But they are like fluffy at the same time. Let me just show you guys what I have for the ingredients lah. Let's go, fast game. So for our potato buns, right, we've got flour, we've got potatoes, softened butter, egg yolks, warm water, warm milk, sugar, dry yeast, and salt. Actually, they use like Martin potato rolls lah, but buying Martin potato rolls in Singapore costs you $120 and above. Oh my god! So right, for the potato buns, we gotta start by making our potatoes. So what I'm going to do with it, right, is that I'm going to cook the potatoes, cook it until they are relatively soft, and then we're going to mash it up. So potatoes, you usually just peel it lah, huh? So don't need to explain. Okay, so this is probably going to be more than 100 grams already, and then we're going to boil it to get it all mashed up. We don't want to just boil one whole piece of potato like that, because it's going to take ages. So I'm just going to dice this up, slice this up, make it into smaller pieces so that it can cook like within 5-10 minutes. Okay, okay, um, we, are, we are done. We are done slicing our potatoes into small pieces now. So what this does is to hand the cook faster lah, and more evenly. In TSL and in ebook, we have a hack and that is called the water dispenser. So uh, Alex, can you help me to uh, put hot water inside? Thank you. Alex, how do you feel having a part to play in making Shake Shack burger buns? Yeah, we are everything. Discrossing shit. Okay. Stay smart. So um, we just turned the heat off for the potatoes, right? Okay. So we're gonna drain this mm. and then we're gonna mash it. We're gonna give it a ola 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 ola. Okay, we got our potatoes, we've got our big bowl. So number one, we put the potatoes into the bowl. <laughs> okay, so we gotta mash it. Okay. We just gotta mash it. Ola, 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 ola. <laughs> we've got our bowl here, we just gotta measure out a hundred grams. Hundred grams, hundred pens. Okay, so we got 100 grams of potatoes. I don't know what to do now. All I know is I need to add in the flour, which is already sifted. Like we've already sifted this flour beforehand. There are 400 grams of it. I'm gonna put it in. And then we're gonna put the sugar in. Sugar! Mm, like, sugar! Mm, yes, yes, sugar yes, okay! In. We got the salt, we got our egg yolks, and then we got 100 grams of potatoes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna warm up our milk and water to form the breeding ground mm -hmm. for our yeast. I'm just gonna put them together. After mixing it, we're gonna. Just pour in both the water and the yeast together. 
We've got everything inside here already. We're just gonna mix it until it becomes a nice dough before adding the butter in. And then we're just gonna mix it in for probably another three to five minutes and that will be our dough. So once, once we've got a dough that forms nicely like this, we're gonna add the butter in and let it beat around and mix around for another three to five minutes. All right, so ball of dough back in. While waiting for this, we shall see a tongue twister today, okay? Okay, tongue twister. Okay. Can. To do it with Shake Shack, of course. Okay. Okay, this is how it goes. You listen first, huh? I listen first. <laughs> shake Shack has a shack of Shake Shack shakes to shake. A shack of Shake Shack shakes is what Shake Shackers have to shake. <laughs> if many people want Shake Shack shakes, how many Shake Shackers do we need to shake the shack of Shake Shack shakes? Shake Shack has a shack of Shake Shack shakes to shake. A shack <laughs> of Shake Shack shakes. It stops moving your hand. Alright, now that we've got our dough ready, let me show you guys how it looks out, okay? Let me... At this point, we've got a very beautiful yellow dough. I will need a greased glass bowl. So, we grease it by... I just bring the sides lah. And then, with my hands, I will wipe the oil. Why you kiss the dough? Maybe. Okay. And then, I'm gonna put it very gently, right in the middle here. And let it rest for two hours. So we are currently waiting for something to rise, I mean dough. Then uh, in the meantime, we are making a sauce. And these in front of us are the ingredients and I'll let you admire it for a moment. The first step, we are going to be mincing this garlic into a paste. And this is actually the most difficult step because the rest of the steps just end the bowl. We got uh, our garlic paste ready. Time to make our sauce. Okay, can you read to me then? Okay. You're the, you're the reader, okay? I'm the reader today. Mm -hmm. One quarter cup of mayo. Okay. Half tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Half tablespoon of Dijon mustard. One TSP Heinz ketchup. Ooh. One quarter no. teaspoon pickle juice. Okay, mm. this would give it the sour tang yes. that people always have. Onion powder. Okay. Garlic paste. Cayenne pepper, and then we're gonna season yeah. it with a dash of salt. Ooh, wow, I see the, I see the reds, I see the reds. Beautiful. Good. Approve. Good. Sauce done. Whoa. So huge, like a moon. Okay, so we've got our baby here. Mm -hmm. Do you, you wanna touch it? You wanna touch it first? Hello. Okay, we're gonna lift it up gently from the sides. Okay, uh -huh. So we gotta we gotta cut our baby up. Or do you wanna or do you wanna like, <laughs> before before anything else? Like, let's fly our old space. Last touch. So you wanna do right? So you wanna shape it. Yeah. So 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 you can shape it using the table. And then as we as we shape it, right? So it becomes a cute uh, small bun. Okay, we are now gonna cover it. So we're just gonna let the babies rest again for another half an hour ish before chucking it into the oven at 195 degrees for 25 minutes. Hey, Woo! look at our babies! Babies! Wow! Wow! Um, what we're gonna do, right? Let's cover them up. Don't expose them to the elements, lah. Uh -huh. um, we're gonna pre the oven, okay. and then as we pre the oven, right, we are going to fry up some patties. So today for the patty, we'll be using Black Angus beef. Atas. Atas. And we're gonna be smashing it on the pan. Okay, we'll let the pan heat up to a very, 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 very high heat first. When it starts to smoke, yeah. Then we put the meat in. Yeah. One hour later. So we're putting the patty into the pan right now. Yep. Let's go. And then the burger press it down all the way. Nice. Oh, the sound of sizzle though. Okay, okay so we just right now we'll be seasoning the meat mm -hmm. with some pepper. More importantly, salt. Salt can afford to put a bit more, I think. Okay, think time. Oh my goodness, it's gonna break, I swear. It's not gonna break, it's not gonna break. <laughs> nice! Okay, we're gonna put a piece of American cheese on top. Let it melt. But wait! So the oven is done preheating. It's making a whole lot of noise now. So we're gonna put our babies into the oven. Yeah. For 25 minutes. For 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. Guys, guys. <laughs> the bread is done. Oh my wow. god. Wow. Now we're gonna just butter the buns. Get it all nice and shiny on top. Oh. Wow! Oh! Oh my oh. gosh! What the heck, Wow! Wow! Bless! 
Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, now that we are done with our buns, oh, let's prepare the, the vegetables. vegetables. Let's serve to mm. whoever, whoever is lucky, lucky enough. Sauce. Yeah. Wow, okay, vegetable prep. Hey, your hand. Oh, I see, I see your hand cut. I'm very scared. Hey, please lah. Not, it's not. It's not worse than you lah. Uh. Huh? Wow, this one damn late. We've got everything. Quack, this is quack, the last quack, step before quack. we beat Shake Shack at its own game. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say so early lah. <laughs> <la>. uh <-huh. laughs> okay, we will be buttering it and then we will be putting it on the pan for some toasty toasty. Then after that, we will assemble and put everything else. Correct. Pa 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 pa. It's gonna be fast. Pa 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 pa. Get it. Yeah. Oh, the colour, the colour though! Yeah. Look at the yeah. sauce. Look, at the sauce. Look how they shine. Okay, okay, okay. You wanna do, you wanna do the buttering yeah, and the dropping? Buttering. Butter them pa, right, huh? Yes, butter them pa. Wow, the wow, 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 look at the butter. There you go. Six packs. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes! I'm super super excited. I'm like, excited. This is really a start to finish of a burger. Eh. Like the whole life cycle of a burger, right? We did it. Eh. We've got our buns okay. all prettily toasted. Yeah. So we're gonna start with our lettuce. Like right, this, right? My god, perfect. And then the patty. Are, are you proud of yourself? Yes, yes. Oh god. <laughs> My one is so big. Okay, so this is basically our Shake Shack burger, our Shack burger, right? Shack burger! Can you see how beautiful it is? Oh my god, it's, it's really like our baby, like, yeah. like wow, like, I mean. we did it so <laughs> meticulously so and like... from scratch. Yeah, it's really from scratch, <laughs> so yeah. From scratch. Ready, ready, ready? I don't eat lettuce, but for this time, I will. Okay, one, two, three. Mm. Have, have, have. 70% there, I think. Okay, this test time! Hi. Hello! Hello. Yeah, hi. Can I say that, like, I kind of know because, like, the chef told me. <laughs> I never eat shit chef before in my life. The bun is a bit, like, you know, like, a bit hard, like, a bit dry at the top. Okay, yeah, the beef smell is, like, is there, la. The buns are smooth. <laughs> Okay, anyway, keep it PG. Okay, like, the bun has a more like, yeasty kind of smell. I don't know how to say but like, okay, most fast food, there's this like, fast food oil smell. This one doesn't really have that. The buns feel, feel like, a bit too perfect ah. The smell not very strong ah. yeah. Beef? Wow, really cannot tell. Very bouncy. Like, you know the squishy, the toy ah. The beef is quite well cooked. Um, bread is a little bit on the sweet side. I don't really taste much of a sauce. The beef itself is quite tender, quite nice. The beef taste is very strong, which is good lah for a burger. When it regards to the potato bun, I think it's overpowered by the beef patty. Wow, but the flavor of the beef here though, I like. Is this any of that special cheese sauce? No. <laughs> this is not the potato bun I remember based on my Shake Shack experience. Honestly, I think the patty is a bit under seasoned. Eh? It's a very strong meat taste. Yeah, there's not much sauce to it. Mm, now I bite through the middle, then got sauce. Where's the cheese? Mmm, <laughs> yeah, I love it. Oh my god, it's damn juicy. Oh my god, I think the whole taste profile of everything goes well together. Like the moment you bite in, right, there's a lot of juice coming out. Is it tomato? Hey, actually, you know, I really, really do like tomato, right? But I eat it together with this, right? It really tastes okay, eh? Like, I think the beef can be a little bit more flavorful. Okay, there's cheese. Now I can feel the dead cheese. The texture one feels very, very, very familiar. Now I can taste the beef. Quite strong beef taste, lah. Uh. Oh. No, I think the beef is... The patty is well cooked. Mm -hmm. But then, texture to it when you chew. It's juicy, not very, but... Then there's like this salty aftertaste. Oh, this one feels a bit thicker. The bun's a little bit toastier. Um, this one is not as buttery as the one on the left. I think it smells a bit more creamy. This one feels a little bit harder, like the bread is a little bit harder. 
Oh, hey, the smell of the sauce here very pronounced. The beefy smell not really there. Maybe because the 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 sauce, the smell of the sauce like overtook it. Is that the word? Overpowered. <laughs> yes. Wow, this one sm really smells like garlic bread. The butter is strong. The garlic is strong. The bun feels a little bit dry, like like the the outer shells feels a little bit like rougher. The bouncyness is kind of similar. No oh, cheese, uh, cheese got smell, man. Cheese got smell. Cheese don't smell one lah. Cheese you only when you eat that you can 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 tell. The beef patty feels thicker. It's a bit more meaty. I think it has a better bite because of how thick it is. This bun is drier than the one on the left. This one's also cheesier and a bit more flavour than the one on the left. I think the right one is more premium because of how thick the patty is. But I prefer the buns on the left. The moment I bite, I can already feel the cheese. The beef patty has this like, like livery like texture in my mouth. I don't know. But the beef taste here is not as tasty as the first one. Sauce wise, mm, this one the sauce is a bit more prominent. I don't know if it's like put out for too long or something, but the bread dry eh? <laughs> and like it's a bit like rough, like kind of scratches like the insides of my mouth. If this is under season, right? This is no seasoning eh? Okay, this one right? I felt not as juicy as the previous burger. It's a little bit dry, but the beef here is much stronger tasting than the other beef, like much more flavorful than the other beef. So I prefer the beef patty over here compared to the beef one over here. Is it cheese? Oh, it's Oh, e. <laughs> I feel like this is the Shake Shack Burger. Okay, I would say that the patty here is really nicer though. I really really like the beef patty here. And the combination of the beef and the cheese. I think the cheese here, I can taste it much more than in this burger. The garlic is definitely stronger here. I can also feel the sauce but I cannot feel the cheese. But there's definitely a layer of sauce which I think is a mixture of um, ketchup, mayonnaise, and some other spice that I can't identify. Then the bun, um, even though the, the outside is a little bit rougher than, your, than the other one, but the texture is still quite bouncy. It's not as soft like the melted in your mouth kind of bread compared to the other one. The beef tastes not super strong compared to the other one so, But the texture is right, like the seasoning is right so. Not as juicy as just on the one. I think the taste and the smell uh, compared to just on the one it should be reversed eh. Because it's on, the smell is stronger, but the taste like not there. I think the one on the right is the Shake Shack burger. I'm gonna choose this one. I think this is Shake Shack. I think this one. I, I'm pretty sure, but I still prefer this one. I think this one is definitely the Shake Burger. I prefer this one. The first one that I ate. Ooh. Oh my course. gosh! <laughs> oh my god, I'm correct. <laughs> I never, I never fail taste this one eh. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Couldn't tell the difference eh. Because the patty here is thinner. Mm -hmm. The meat here is better. In my opinion. Oh, oh. In my opinion. But the buns here is nicer. Yeah, I, re I really thought that the one that I picked was Shake Shack. I would like the bun from the left mm -hmm. and the patty on the right. I'm quite disappointed by the sauce for this one because it's something that you know you look for what when you eat when you eat the shack burger. Okay, like <laughs> making the freaking potato bun in, in from scratch, right? Is an amazing job. I applaud you guys. I'm so proud of you that this is a good attempt, lah. Good attempt. Yep. Mm, I know like eat the bread on its own when it's fresh, and it's actually not bad. Like eat already you're happy, right? But I think not even dry. <laughs> it's cold already. <laughs> I mean, like they still did a pretty good job. I will give it for. Like home cook cooking, I will give it like 7 upon 10. Still an A. <laughs> I'm surprised, I'm surprised, I'm legit surprised. <laughs> ah, so tiring. I don't know, I'm very scared. Our photo looks chill. Huh? But you know what happened just now? What? We put the order the wrong way. Yeah la. <laughs> Actually, I think we got secretly change it. Okay. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 
Two four. Oh my god, serious? Two four? Yeah. Even if we lose, right? We managed to win two people's two people. hearts. <laughs> that's two out of six. That's one third. That's one third. Okay, not bad, not bad. That's one third. No, 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 no. So for every hundred people that goes to Shake Shack, we win 33 people. <laughs> You know Hui right, for every of his uh, e-book versus episode right, he always pick the other side one eh. Yeah. Oh my god, he picked us. Hui, you pick us. Hui, you pick us. Yeah. I, know, man, I, I thought we would get zero. Yeah, I thought we would be like 5-1 next time. Okay, so like, based on my research right, yeah, Shake Shack don't make their own buns. Shake Shack buys their buns from this place called Martin's Potato oh, Rolls. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, how then why we make the buns? <laughs> <laughs> and also, we knew that we didn't use beef that was fatty. Oh, then. yeah. Yeah, we used quite lean because that's what we could find, yeah. you know, out there and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you want to do it yourself, buy the burgers yourself, don't make the burgers. Uh, it is way too much of an effort to make. Yeah, burgers. actually, whoa, after this, right, I realized like there's, there's damn a lot of effort making the potato buns because it's not just buns, mm. it's potato buns. Yeah. It means you still have to like cook potato, potatoes and stuff like that. Add the potato. Which I would say is not worth it. No! Eh, but I must say, uh, we need to give some credit to our sauce. I think our sauce is not bad. Eh? I think our sauce is not bad. Really? It's okay. I think after this, I I learned to appreciate the the potato rolls a bit more. Yeah, I mean, like, we, our buns were a little bit uh, solidified. I don't know, it's Sorry, like very hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Shake Shake one is soft. Yeah, it's point point. Remember <laughs> I don't point know. Point? <laughs> okay, la, okay, la, quite well, la, quite well. La. <laughs> I think can, la. It's, it's not like overly expensive that I wouldn't buy it again, but. Some Nowadays, they open a lot of outlets, huh? so no one really need to queue. <laughs> you can just go and go whichever is nearest. Let's just go to Jewel one. Last time I go, hey dude, last time I go all the way to Jewel one, no? just to eat Shake Shack, no. Wow. It's on the west side, you see, that's why. <sighs> good things come to the first people. Right? Thank you for watching this episode of Ebook vs. If you would like us to versus anyone else, you can let us know by commenting down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to watch our videos over there. And also, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye! Ebook Burger!